Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm kind of at a weird angle because we've had to move the bed over to this side because we're getting some new internet. But hopefully this is okay. Today I'm going to be doing a 20 amazing female actresses video. So I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite female actresses. However, this is definitely not all of them because after making this list I just kept thinking of more and more and I actually have a list of another 20. So I managed to make two sets of 20. So this is going to be 20. If you guys want to see another one just let me know in the comments below. I have got a list of another 20 that I could do and then if you want to see actors then I could do that as well, uh, you know, male actors. And so what I'm going to be doing is going to be talking about 20 great female actresses, awesome women and recommending one of their films. Most of them I've picked like an underrated film to recommend where I think you should definitely check it out and it's not the most talked about. However, I think there's two exceptions where they're like kind of a really popular film but I could not just put that one in. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. The first one I have on my list is Sandra Bullock. I think she is awesome. I love her. I've seen pretty much most of her films and I always really liked her films growing up because my favourite when I was younger was Practical Magic and that's the one I definitely would recommend. I feel like it's not super underrated but I definitely feel like if you look at her uh, filmography it's, it is one that is underrated really. I mean a lot of Sandra Bullock films are very popular and big. She definitely has maybe more underrated ones than this, maybe like The Net which I did enjoy but I just love Practical Magic so much that I think everybody should watch it. I definitely think it, it's brilliant and it also has Nicole Kidman in it and she's brilliant in this as well so if you haven't seen Practical Magic it is the perfect season because it's nearly October, it's about witches, it's great, you'll love it. So yeah definitely recommend that one. The next lady on my list, I feel like I'm going to pronounce her surname wrong and so I really apologise but it's Zoe Sal... Saldana? Sal... Sal... Saldana? I don't know how to say her surname uh, but you guys know who I mean because she's Glamora in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and she is awesome but of course that is not the film that I'm going to recommend from her because everyone knows that film uh, but yeah I think, now let me think how to say it, Live By Night? I kept calling it Live By Night for a while but no, Live By Night. I really really liked her in this film, I thought she was a fantastic role and she was really really interesting. Ben Affleck's kind of the main guy in this and then she's kind of the main lady in the film, leading lady. I suppose you'd say and so she's just so good I was really interested because I kind of didn't recognise her at first because obviously when she's Gamora she's green and I was like oh she's so good in this film I want to look up about her and then I was like oh I feel like I did recognise her a little bit but I couldn't pin where from and yeah I just thought she was really really good in this I haven't heard many people talking about this film and especially not in relation to her but I thought she did do a fantastic job in this film and I really liked her character I was very invested in her storyline in this film so I definitely wanted to recommend that one the next one I have is actually someone that I just kind of talked about a little bit and it's Nicole Kidman. I love Nicole Kidman. I think she's fantastic. Again, when I was younger I loved so many of her films. Um, you know, she has been in some of my absolute favourite films but again they're quite popular films so they're not one that I'll be recommending today. Uh, but the one that I do want to talk about is one that I only very recently saw and it's Secret in Their Eyes. I saw this recently and I thought it was so good. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was very interesting and it was like a crime thriller and I thought that it kind of did it well I thought that you could even be a bit hit or miss and it wasn't the best thing I've ever seen but I thought she was very good in it, very interesting it felt like it was something kind of different for her she wasn't actually kind of the main person I felt like Julia Roberts was a bit more of a main person in this film but she was very good and I thought it was a very interesting role for her and I really just enjoyed the film, I thought it was very interesting so I definitely would recommend that film if you enjoy kind of crime thrillers the next person I have on the list is Renee Zellweger. I love her, I think she's fantastic. Of course, we most know her from Bridget Jones. However, the film that I'm going to recommend is New in Town. I feel like if you like Bridget Jones, you'll enjoy New in Town. It's a very fun, quirky little film about, um, I can't remember her name, but you know, this woman who goes to a work kind of placement thing in the middle of nowhere where it's really, really cold in this little village where there's not many people and she's like oh my gosh this is just the way you know, she goes from a city and it's not like that it's kind of the very rural and like I say the snow is like so deep and it's just crazy and she has to kind of adapt to that and then she gets to know these people in this town and it's just, it's just really really cute I definitely would recommend that film if you like you know that kind of kind of easygoing type of films okay the next one on the list is Cameron Diaz I actually really really like Cameron Diaz I know some people don't uh, but most of her films I do really enjoy there's still a couple that I do want to see and the one I'm going to recommend I feel like isn't that underrated, she's definitely done more underrated films but 
It's one of my absolute favourites. And it's The Other Woman. I love this song. I feel like when it came out, I had a bit of hype around it. But then I feel like it completely died out and I haven't really heard anyone talk about this one for a long time. And I absolutely love it. I really, really do. I would totally recommend it. Leslie Mann's also in this. I think she's fantastic. Um, but yeah, it's so good. I love Cameron Diaz in this film. I could watch this film a million times and not get bored of it. I really, really enjoy it. And if you kind of like um, romantic comedy type of ones, then I would definitely recommend this one to you. The next person I have on the list is Julia Roberts. Now you might think I would have put Secret in Their Eyes for her. Like I said, she was fantastic in Secret in Their Eyes. But I really liked Julia Roberts in Money Monster. I really enjoyed this film. I actually gave it five stars. I've only seen it once, but I enjoyed it so much. And I felt like it was just so different and so interesting. And, you know, I, I definitely need to rewatch it because most of these I have seen multiple times, but this one I haven't. Um, but I thought it was just so interesting. Very different role for Julia Roberts as well. And I definitely feel like a very underrated one for her because it's kind of not her typical film. I feel like a lot of Julia Roberts films, when you look at her filmography, people kind of really know them. They're quite well-known films. And kind of known as... Julia Roberts films like, you know, My Best Friend's Wedding, Pretty Woman, The Runaway Bride, Eat, Pray, Love, you know, those type of things. But Money Monster is very interesting, very different, and I think she's really great in it. So yeah, would definitely recommend that one. Okay, the next one we have, I have Emma Thompson. I love Emma Thompson. I think she's brilliant. However, I've not picked an underrated film for this one. I did have one in mind, and it is Last Chance Harvey. But I haven't seen it for a while, but when I did, I did really enjoy that one. But I felt like I couldn't not recommend this one because I love it so much that I just really wanted to recommend this and it's Saving Mr Banks. I love Saving Mr Banks. When it first came out I watched it so many times over and over and over and I think Emma Thompson is so good in this. It is my favourite Emma Thompson film. She's just she's just so fantastic as P.L. Travers and I love this film. I really, really do. So I thought even if just one person hasn't seen this film I just really wanted to recommend it because I really, really like it. I think everybody should see it. It's a really great story about P.L. Travers and Walt Disney and him getting the rights to Mary Poppins and it's so much more fun and cute and interesting than it might sound. Definitely would recommend that film. Next on my list is Meryl Streep. Of course, you all know Meryl Streep. I mean, you know, she's pretty um, well known. She's very awesome. And I love a lot of her films. And this isn't my favourite Meryl Streep film, but I feel like it's one that definitely goes, um, you know, just passes by people. And it's The Iron Lady. Now obviously in this film she plays Margaret Thatcher and it's so interesting. I really did find this film very interesting and very good and I thought that she did such a great job in it and I just felt like no one really talked about it that much or she wasn't given enough credit for this film because she really did do a fantastic job and it was just so interesting to watch and I feel like no one's really maybe watched it. I don't know, I've never really met anybody who's like, oh yeah, I've seen that one. I feel like everyone's like, oh no, I haven't seen that because either they didn't want to, it wasn't their type of thing. Or they just kind of hang around to it because it's not one of the films like, yes, I must watch that. But for some reason one day I watched it and I thought, yeah, that was really good. And Meryl Streep was really great as uh, Margaret Thatcher. I thought it was really interesting. Uh, but I do quite like Margaret, Margaret Thatcher, so I guess maybe that was a bias there. But yeah, I thought I'd recommend that one because I just felt like it maybe... It's kind of passed by and I thought it was a really good performance by her. Uh, the next person I have on the list is Anne Hathaway. Love Anne Hathaway. I think that she is really, really awesome and... A new favourite from her, I mean she has a lot of films that I really love that are you know, pretty popular, but one that I think is not super underrated but I feel like it definitely deserved more love is The Intern. I loved The Intern, it's also got Robert De Niro in and it's just it's just so fun, I love it so much. Uh, of last year, it was my favourite um, DVD pickup, DVD Blu-ray pickup. That was one of my favourites, I really enjoyed it, it's the one I watched the most. Again, I could watch this one so many times. And if you like that type of thing, I would definitely recommend The Intern. Okay, next we have Amelia Clark, And I really, really love her. I'm definitely growing to kind of... She's going to be one of the people who I look out for and kind of pick up her films because she's in them. I recently picked up Voice from the Stone, which I think is very underrated, but it's not super amazing. So, she doesn't have that, that many films out at the moment. Obviously, people will most know her from Game of Thrones. And the film that I put on the list is one that everybody will have heard of, everyone will have seen posters for everywhere, and it is Me Before You, but I love her character in Me Before You so much. She's so fantastic, and I feel like this is where I've kind of, I've learnt a lot about Amelia Clark because obviously I've seen her in Game of Thrones, and I've seen her in Me Before You, and I've seen her in Voice from the Stone, and I feel like she can play such different characters. And I feel like her acting is really, really good, um, because she's played, you know, I mean, it's only three roles that I've seen her in, but they're all just so different. So I really, really like that about her and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more films from her so I definitely want to include her on this list but I'm sure you've all heard of 
Me Before You, so yes. Next I have Tony Collette, I really really like Tony Collette, I always have uh, when I was younger, I loved the film About a Boy and she's in that so I kind of watched more of her films from there. But one of my absolute favourites with her in, that again I definitely think is an underrated one, is A Long Way Down. This is such a great film, it's kind of, it's kind of a difficult one, it's a little bit of a comedy but it's also a drama and it's also about a serious subject. Uh, basically it's about these four people, I think it's four, yeah, four people who were going to commit suicide and then for one reason or other it, it doesn't happen and they kind of come together in each other's lives and you know help each other through they all have their own story it's all very interesting and I just really really like it so it sounds, sounds depressing but it's really not something about it that's uplifting and I don't know how to, to describe it but I really do recommend it as long as you know it's not too it, obviously there's a trigger warning there for that but I think that it is a really good film I definitely think more people should be talking about it Next on my list I have Drew Barrymore who again, so many of her films are like really, you know, well known films but one that she was in recently that I feel like, okay, I feel like it, people didn't like it and it kind of got a bit of a bad rep but I really like it but I don't recommend it to everybody and it's Blended which has Adam Sandler in. I'm not always a big fan of Adam Sandler's films, especially as of, you know, late years. Uh, they've kind of been a bit, eh, but this one I love. I watched this so many times, it's kind of cheesy kind of just you just gotta kind of go with it but it was fun and I really like Drew Barrymore in it this is definitely not her best performance it's just a fun cheesy easy going film but some of her best films are obviously very popular well known films so I did kind of want to pick an underdog here next person on my list is Jennifer Aniston now I'm sure you all know Jennifer Aniston I feel like her films are very popular and you know obviously she's most well known from Friends and then she's got a lot of kind of chick flicky type of films out However, I've gone for something a little bit different. My favourite Jennifer Aniston film isn't this one. It's probably We're the Millers, maybe. I, I really like a lot of her films. Oh, Marley and Me, that probably is my favourite. Anyway, there's a bunch, there's a bunch. You've probably heard of them all. However, I feel like she was fantastic in Cake, and it was so different than anything I've seen her in. I feel like the first time I watched Cake, I've seen it twice. It has such an impact on me. However, the second time I watched it, it didn't really quite have the same impact, but I just... I just thought it was so interesting to see her as this character. It's not kind of a comedy, it's not a romantic film, it's not a chick flick, it's not that type of thing at all. It's definitely a more serious film, a heartfelt film, and she plays a completely different character. And I really thought that she was really fantastic in the film, so I just wanted to kind of mention that one there. If you are a Jennifer Aniston fan, you might kind of not look into that one because it's a different type of film. But I feel like it was a very good film and she was very good in it, so yeah, that's Cake. The next one I have is Emma Watson, who obviously is very well known. You know, obviously she was Hermione, and I feel like The Perks Being a Wallflower was a very big film, but I also feel like she's been in some really underrated films as well. And my favourite of those is The Colony. I loved this. I definitely would recommend it. It's kind of... I don't really want to spoil it. I didn't really know what it was about going in. I went into it just pretty much blind because I bought it because Emma Watson was in it. And then I was like, what? And it, I just loved it. I really, really did. And I would definitely recommend it. I've not really heard anybody talk about it, and I really enjoyed that one. So definitely check that one out. Next we have another Emma and it is Emma Roberts. I've recently become such a big fan of Emma Roberts and I didn't really used to like her. However, I watched Nerve, which is my film for her, and I really, really loved this film and it's definitely kind of opened my eyes to her films and definitely to look into more from her. I've seen quite a few but um, not everything she's got. Uh, but yeah, Nerve, I loved it. I thought it was so interesting, so kind of high on energy and it was just crazy and I really, really liked Emma Roberts in it. I thought she was so great and like I say, now I'm really kind of into watching her films at the moment. But yeah, Nerve is really great. It's not super underrated but I feel like it, it should have gotten more love. Um, next person on my list is Amy Adams who is very popular at the moment and is in a lot of big films now. But one that I really liked from quite a few years ago is Julie and Julia. I really loved that film and I really liked her in this film as well. And I feel like, again, I don't really hear anyone talk about it. Meryl Streep's also in this film, so that's two awesome people off the list. But yeah, Julie and Julia is very, just, it's, again, it's kind of a relaxing film. It's easy going, but I really, really liked that one. Next we have, I feel like this list just, just goes on forever. <laughs> Next we have Natalie Portman, who again, you know, she's pretty well known, very, in a lot of popular films. I nearly put Leon in here um but then i was like well it's not really uh, it's not really an underrated film and it's kind of well known for her because it, she was so young in it so i didn't do that so instead i put a film in that i feel like a lot of people might have heard of but i really really like and it's no strings attached 
again it's kind of a uh, chick flicky type of film, romantic comedy, but I feel like it is pretty funny. I actually laugh out loud quite a few times in this film, it's got Ashton Kutcher and Natalie Portman. Again it's not my favourite of her films, but I do enjoy watching it and I've watched it multiple times and I do really like her in it. Again it's definitely not her best performance, I mean obviously Black Swan, I love Black Swan, I think it's incredible. Um, but yeah you know it's just an easy going film again, but I feel like you know if you like Natalie Portman and you haven't seen this one and you do enjoy kind of comedies, it, it's worth checking out. Next person on my list is Kate Winslet who I love and this film I feel like is one very underrated and two fantastic so that kind of really ticks both boxes and it is The Dressmaker. I love this film, she is the main character in this film, she's so fantastic and it's so awesome and not enough people talk about this film and I honestly just love it. I've watched it I think three times and I've only owned it for like a year or so and honestly I couldn't recommend it enough, I really 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 like this film. I definitely would urge you to kind of look into it, check out the trailer, obviously in this video I didn't want to explain the synopsis of each film because there's 20 and 20 actresses but you know if you're interested in these actresses these are the kind of films that I'd recommend you kind of look into but yeah The Dressmaker is a real definite one. Next person on my list is Susan Sarandon, I really really like her, I think she's really fantastic and again there's a lot of really kind of what I would consider popular films of hers I guess that I really really love and but I feel like this one might be actually my favourite and I feel like it's a little bit underrated and it is Shall We Dance I love this film, I don't know what it is but I watched it and my mum showed it to me I kept not wanting to watch it, I thought it wasn't going to be my kind of thing I don't really like dancing movies but it definitely isn't that and I really just completely loved it and I love Susan Sarandon's character in this, I really really do she's really fantastic in it I liked who she played and I just really loved it, it was really sweet Next on my list we have Queen Latifah, again she's fantastic and I really love her, I've watched quite a lot of her films and I would consider this one to be quite underrated and it is Last Holiday. I don't know, I guess it might not be underrated with her films but as a general spectrum I don't really hear anyone talking about this film and I love it so much, it's so good, I definitely kind of recommend watching it around Christmas time, it's not exactly a Christmas movie but I feel like Christmas might take place in the film or it just has those vibes. It, it can be a little bit sad but then it's just fun and it's all fun and surprising in the end and I really really like this film so I definitely would recommend that one if you're a fan of Queen Latifah and haven't seen this one or if you just want like a nice fun festive film and you haven't seen this one but it's not exactly a Christmas film. <laughs> Next we have Jennifer Lawrence of course, everybody knows Jennifer Lawrence, I feel like you know she doesn't really have an underrated film because she's very popular everybody loves her, she's one of the most kind of popular actresses right now I'd say and I feel like maybe her most underrated film might be her first film, Winter's Bone but I feel like this one also deserves more love and I'm gonna go with Joy I loved Joy, I thought it was so interesting and when I heard about it, like you know it's about this woman who made this mop, it kind of seems a bit weird but I thought that Jennifer Florence was fantastic in this I just really got completely sucked into the story which I didn't think that I would and I completely enjoyed it so yeah definitely would recommend that one if you've kind of passed it by because it seemed a bit odd. Uh, the next person on my list is Brie Larson again she's one of the people who recently I really love and will pick up most things that she's in after having seen her in Room which she is fantastic in and that film is brilliant uh, after having seen her in that I've kind of been more interested in her films but I feel like one film that I don't think is an underrated film definitely not is that's not the case, it's not an underrated film, everyone kind of knows about it but I feel like it's not something that she will be completely directly associated with would be Kong Skull Island, so when you think Kong Skull Island you're not going to think oh yeah Brie Larson, like she's just kind of in it but she's not really a main star of it you know well she is but you know what I mean um, but I feel like yeah I feel like she was fantastic in this, I really really loved her character and she was something that kind of made me enjoy this film more so I kind of want to put that on the list, I feel like there's not a mass amount of her films that I could kind of choose from but I definitely want to put her on the list because I think she's really fantastic and again she's one of the people who I'm looking out for now in the future. And finally on this list we have Chloe Grace Moretz who I love and she's been fantastic for years, obviously she was a child actress and now she's kind of in her late teens, I don't actually know how old she is but she's really great, she's been in lots of movies, I feel like she's you know pretty popular, you probably all know a lot of her films but one I do think kind of went by and is pretty underrated is If I Stay. I really enjoyed this film and I feel like she did a really great job in it but I feel like not many people talked about it and it's, it's kind of a weird film I suppose, maybe that's why I didn't get talked about very much. I um, mean you know, it's about this girl who is in a coma and she's kind of then has this out of body type of experience and she has to kind of figure things out 
and you know it's pretty sad it's a pretty sad film but it's a it's a good film i think chloe grace was really good in it so i definitely want to recommend that one so yeah that's 20 awesome or maybe it was 20 plus how many was i supposed to do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 okay so it's 20 plus i was either going to do 20 or 20 plus that's 23 awesome female actresses who i love and would completely recommend checking out just a bunch of their films if you haven't if there's anybody on this list that you haven't seen any films by definitely look them up they're all fantastic um and i really really love them all so that is just a fun little list i thought i'd do with some of my favorite actresses and again i do have 20 more on another list so if there's somebody who you think is awesome that i missed they're probably on the other list uh, but yeah thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see the other list let me in the comments below and if you'd like to see a male actor version let me in the comments below i'll see you then goodbye